Okay. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nukem Dukem here, and welcome to Diablo 3 Reapers of Souls. I'm a big Diablo fan in general, uh, not necessarily original 3, but uh, I liked 1 and 2, played so many hours in uh, grade school and high school, and uh, apparently they fixed a lot of things and uh, problems with Diablo uh, 3, and now um, Diablo 3 expansion came out, Reaper of Souls. I'm excited about this. If you want to join my clan just to play with me whenever, you can join me. Uh, where is this community thing? You can just join my clan right there. It says Nukem Dukem right there. And uh, and then uh, I'll play with you guys. So right now I am live streaming this on Twitch right now. And uh, yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitch if you uh, want to interact with me. I talk with chat, watch chat, and interact with everybody. And have a good old time there. Okay. So what's different about Diablo 3? Well, I mean, <laughs> the expansion. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new hero. So in the expansion you get a new class, the Crusaders class, which is like a paladin. Look how, look at how beast he is. I actually like paladins because I actually like tanking. I'm a tanking type of guy. Here's a female version of that. But for the sake of Reaper Souls, uh, I want to finish this. I'm going to finish the expansion first with my main character, my monk. And then I'll switch over to my, um, I'll switch over to start Crusaders class and that's where I'll play with all you fans right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I know you guys have been waiting for this. If you're new to my channel, first of all, welcome. Uh, my name's Nukem Dukem. I don't talk during cutscenes, and my commentary is pretty mature, so you don't ever have to worry if I'm raging or anything like that. Uh, try and make sure I focus on the gameplay. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and get this started. All right, uh, let's go to private games so no one bothers, bothers us. Gonna hide my webcam in case there's a cutscene. Uh oh. What the? Why, why am I, I act one? Fear and death. The fallen star is near. Why am I on act I one? That stench was just you. What? Hang on. <laughs> Technical difficulties. I, I didn't know why I was on act one. Sorry about that. Uh, let's try this again, huh? Sorry, I was on Act 1. Okay, Act 5. There we go. Click OK. Yes. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started. Alright, creating a game. Essence lingers in the black soul stone. I cannot destroy the stone, nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. And so it must be hidden, even from the angels. I pray that it will be enough. Service here is finished, and you should all. Thank you. 
I have heard stories of angels descending upon the city of Westmarch, slaughtering man, woman, and child. But to what end? The city's defenders were powerless to stop them. But now, I have come. And I will protect all who can be saved. Alright, wow. What a entrance, huh? Alright, hang on, let me get this settled back up. Nephilim. There you go. Knock them out. Tyriel sent me to find you. Malthiel has taken the Black Soul Stone. You must come with me. People are dying down there. I will not abandon them. But you and Tyriel need to form a plan. We must find Malthiel. I will meet Tyriel in West March. Go! It will be done. I swear it. Hang on. Alright, I thought I could record this at the same time, but I can't keep up with it. There's too much stuff going on for it to stay up with it. Alright, there we go. Just adjusting real quick some settings. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, so this right here, if you're asking me about my wings, that's from the original collector edition Diablo 3. They're the Tiru Angelic wings right here. Here's the pre order wings right here if you pre order Reaper Souls uh, expansion. And then here is the StarCraft Brood Wars, um, not Brood Wars, StarCraft, uh, gosh, Heart of Swarm. And you get a pet with it. Alright, let's take out these guys right here. Alright. This is my mercenary right here, my scoundrel. Okay. So if you pre-order Reaper Souls, I believe you get this pet as well. So let's go ahead and go with the Reaper Souls Angelic Wings. Uh oh. I will have to find another way into the city to stop the slaughter. May I recommend the sewers? Scoundrel wants to go to the sewers. Uh, we'll go ahead and go down this way since the arrow on my minimap top right is telling me go this way. Right below that's ejector. I know this is uh, noticeable, but I'm just saying this in case you're new to uh, Diablo series, just trying to figure this out. Um, try and, uh, uh, if you're if you're new to Diablo, like I there's some people on stream right now. It's like, hey, what's this game about? So I'm trying my best to. Make it a little bit reminder if you're a casual or I know if you're a hardcore Diablo fan, it would drive you nuts, drives me nuts too, but uh, let, let's think about it, everybody. So yes, objectives right below minimap, and then I'm playing this on normal right now. Uh, I like to play Nightmare or Hell or even harder. I know those are not the, the difficulty names now in Diablo 3, but those are Diablo 2 terms, so that's why I can remember top of my head. Okay. Stop! Don't go out into the streets. I won't. So here's our, oops. Here's our merchant. This is where you can buy weapons, armor, uh, miscellaneous, which is health potions. You can pair all your items, which I'll do right now, and you can actually buy back your items. Uh, this is from an earlier a speed run. I did. I have two legendaries right here. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, I killed Diablo right before I started this. So here's two legendary weapons. I might actually switch this. I'm not sure yet. I have to actually check my stats. But here you go. Here's your stats. You want a detailed stats about everything. And then here's your uh, regular characters. And then um, skill tree. Okay, here's your Paragon, which is after you max out level 60, which I am right now. But uh, the expansion moved it to 70. So you get points and you can put it in your core, which is, you know, your basic core stats. You get your offensive stats right here, your defensive stats as well, and you got your utility stats. 
So those that's different if you played Diablo 3 and it's updated now so you don't need uh, Reaper of Souls to have this. And here's our skill tree, uh, which is our hot bars right here. And which you said, you know, level cap is now 70. So there we go. Uh, I'm not this it's the end of the world. So many have been killed and the Reapers are everywhere. Are there any survivors? General Torian was defending a group of refugees at the old Zakaroon Cathedral, but they're likely all dead by now. Wait, you're the monk who saved Bastion's Keep. You'll save us too, won't you? I promise. Okay. So I like to talk to all the characters, make sure I get the dialogue. Diablo is... Blizzard games are usually very, very lore and heavy story centric. So you, I'm going to talk to every dialogue. Just don't miss it. I'm sorry if that's not for you, but that's what the game is. Like, it's really cool. And this is what I grew up on, so I actually love it. Keep moving. I think we lost her. No, no. Those with demon blood must die. No. There are no demons here, only innocents. Fine, innocent. <laughs> oh, the scoundrel. Alright, we'll stick with the tyro wings to make it more consistent with my color. Alright, here we go. Massacre bonus. All right, so we got a new lore right here. Oh, I forgot your mercenary. You can actually equip them with gear and different skills right here, as you can see, and you can get more details on their damage. Okay. Did I, did I miss the lore? Oh man. Okay, I missed that journal. It's okay. Hang on, let me clear this. Okay, uh, where's my lore? Okay, here, here's a j lore right here. You can listen the to it too. Shield guards were once the personal guard of King Justinian IV, appointed to the position for bravery and skill at arms. They accompanied the king at all times, resplendent in their ornate armor, wrought by the finest craftsmen in Westmarch. But most spectacular were their shields, which they unerringly employed in the protection of their king. Surprised they actually show us all the mini maps. Usually in Diablo games, you don't know. You have to explore the mini map to uh, to see where you're going, to see where to go next. It's like see, um, which is very weird. It's usually never like this in Diablo games. So I'm not sure if it's just I know the town. Right, let's take these guys out quick. Okay. Defend the church. That ability is not yet recharged. A little bit of lag spike here. I think it might be the server, not me. Tyrael. We found you. All right. Looks like he's kind of hurt uh, after finding Matteo. Tyrael, why is Matteo so intent on the city's destruction? Because he feeds on death. Every time his reapers kill, he grows stronger. And with the prime evil gone. Malthael believes this is the perfect time to end the eternal conflict. Humanity has nothing to do with that war. Though we are descended from angels and demons, Malthael sees only the demonic within us. The church! All the refugees are inside! Follow me! Alright. Akarat's Bane! This is worse than I feared. What is that? A death maiden! Stop her! Oh my gosh, what is this? Your soul will be mine. I don't have enough spirits. Alright. This is not ready yet. There we go, took her out. 
We must do everything in our power to slow the Nephilim down, so that the collection of souls is not interrupted. It is the key to Malthiel's victory. Second. Gotta fix my webcam. I think it's a better place right there. Um, so these are health wells, basically heals you, pretty obvious. All this must end. Where is Malthiel? I know only that he is not in Westmarsh. He could have taken the Black Soul Stone anywhere in creation. Is there a way to find out why he took it? There may be. A sliver broke off when Malthael took the Soul Stone. Perhaps by studying that sliver, I can learn his plans. I will leave that to you while I save the city. One more second, I'm gonna move it right over here. There we go, so you can see the chat. Uh, so we got our quest item. Let's take a look at our new items we got, see if it's better. I have legendary gloves, but uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's better since, um, you know, expansion probably has better stuff. Dexterity, slightly higher resistance. Um, you know, I kind of like my legendary. Yeah, I don't think these are better than what I have right now. Yeah. Okay. Good. We don't need to change any. Oh. I'll hold off on that. All right. Let's go ahead and leave the cathedral. Okay. So I'm gonna to talk to all these guys to make sure I get the lore. I know people like to see the lore. the Horadrim returned. Tyriel rebuilt the Order to help him take the Soul Stone from Heaven and to protect mankind. After all, you can't be everywhere at once, no matter how powerful you are. What can you learn from studying the Sliver? The Sliver is still connected to the Soul Stone. As the Stone changes, the Sliver will change too. Therefore, I can observe what Malfail is doing to the stone, and if we're lucky, even discover his plan. Malfail, my brother, he was wisdom, leader of our council, first among angels, and now he has become this. Gods rarely change their nature. How could this be? After the destruction of the World Stone, Malthael's mood darkened, and he left the heavens frequently. Then he disappeared completely. He must have developed a connection, no, an obsession with human souls. Death is but a step in the cycle of reincarnation, not an end. <laughs> Soul Stone. So, oh man, we actually got quite some more dialogues to go through. Okay, uh, here's our artisan. So basically our artisan, uh, he can repair things, you can salvage items you don't want. He basically can build armor and forge armors too. And you can train him uh, to upgrade him. And as you upgrade him, his whole um, sanctuary increases with him. Okay, so let me give you an example. Um, so we don't need this right here. Actually, this seems like a better gear than I have right now. No, the vital. Yeah, it doesn't have the dexterity. Okay, so let's say if I don't want this, right? Let's go ahead and salvage it. You get crafting materials here. So we'll just keep doing this for all these. Uh, I have plenty of gold, so I'm not really too worried about um, getting cash right now. Okay. <laughs> Should we do it with the legendaries as well? <laughs> Kidding. Okay. Uh, scoundrel. Ooh, actually, we got a new item for a scoundrel. Let's see, three hundred dexterity, two hundred vitality. Hmm. I think I kind of like what he has right now. Okay. Uh, do we see the new um? She saved my brother at Bastion's key. Okay. Right now we have the jeweler. Petty idols. The Zakarum are gone. 
and the order of Malthale now rises. Praise Malthale, and your souls may yet be saved. He spares only the faithful. Donate to the order and prove your conviction. Okay, so it looks like there's an uprising going right now uh, to side with the evil Maltheo. Maltheo? <laughs> Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But uh, these are dies you get for the collector edition uh, from Diablo 3, which kind of just change the color of your gears, dies. So here we have the, the jewel crafter, or the artisan, uh, which basically can remove gems or you can train it to level and then you can combine your smaller gems into a higher quality gems that cost money okay there's another class they introduced to the game too um, I, I think it's the mystic where it, it enchants your gear as well and you can do other things with it uh, or, or mess around the stats so this is gonna be a little bit boring part of the game um, you can so I'm gonna talk to the whole town so make sure we're caught up on the lore and the story so there's not gonna be much gameplay if someone uh, is watching this on YouTube can you please put the timer when the game actually start when I start the main quest so people who don't want to see the dialogue can skip over this for me thank you all right oh my gosh I do not see your customary smile what weighs on you Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, memories are useless, aren't they? You can't eat them or sell them for food. I'm glad that I'm starting to lose them. Oh, I was just remembering a time when I tracked the jewel to Scovos. Uh, a long story. But let us say that between the sea monsters and poisoned arrows, it managed to slip away again. A disappointing conclusion. Oh, it was. But when the theater's ceiling collapsed, I fell right into the lap of my soon-to-be seventh wife. Oh, she managed to console me. You have had seven wives? Oh, no, no, no. I've been married many more times than that. But never to more than two women at a time. Never let it be said that I'm greedy. <laughs> Having more than one is kind of greedy, bro. Tell me another story from your past. I was once lost in the dry steps. Uh, they don't come by their name lightly. No water, and the sun, an unbearable, unblinking eye. <sighs> in my delirium, I decided that it would be cooler without any clothes on. So I wandered for three days, my skin ruby red, until I fell directly into a lucky oasis. Ah, to this day. I don't know if the stranded harem I found there was anything more than a wonderful and tremendously wicked hallucination. Uh, but who cares? Alright, you know what, we'll, I'll break that up with him. I know who is responsible for this. It's the poor. They've summoned these monstrosities to take Westmarch for themselves. Alright, poor people are to blame. Alright, these are our, our mercenaries. It is good to see you again. Though it seems like we are only brought together in the worst of circumstances. But I suppose if times were better, we would never have met. Oh, how sweet of you. Cormac, are you troubled? For too long have I lived with the knowledge that my order tortures its initiates and twists their minds. I need to know how high this evil reaches. If my whole order is corrupt, what does it mean to be a Templar? What am I? You are a good man who dedicated his life to a cause you believed was good as well. But it wasn't, was it? The guilty will answer for their transgressions. I swear it. For a moment, I heard the voices. I could not make out the words. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's talk to some of these townspeople. Emily? I can't believe we're still alive. And it's all thanks to you. I thought we would die in that foul smelling place. No, not important. Lord Harold. Did you grab the jewelry at least? Harold, those monsters were about to kill us. Well, I would rather be dead than poor. Oh, that's rough, man. 
Alright, can we still talk to her about... No, we can't. Alright, I saw there was one more and then we'll talk to the main one. Get started on the story. We'll talk to the artisan later. I found him in the streets. He seemed in a day, so I brought him here with me, but he's hardly said anything. He's nobility of some sort, but I don't recognize the seal on his ring. The flames! The flames? But he was covered in soot. Perhaps he escaped from a fire. He never says more than a word or two at a time. Okay. Let's go ahead and start on the main quest. Is just death in horror. Oh, wow. We got a couple more over here. Hang on. My library isn't far from here. I was closing everything up for the day when I heard the fighting in the streets. I barred the doors and then squeezed through the back window to escape. But I'll have to come up with something more exciting when I write my official account, won't I? At long last, a hero comes to save us! That won't bring my wife back, though. Will it? Okay. <laughs> Bitter party one. What was the Death Maiden trying to do in the Cathedral? She was creating an orb that turns the living into Malthale's death creatures. A single orb can transform hundreds of innocent people every hour, and my men report two more of them out in the city. So, Crucibles, with two of them, Malthale has an endless supply of soldiers. Until I destroy them. Malthale's Reapers are people whose souls were taken by the Crucibles? Sadly, yes. And the Death Maidens? Their story is as tragic as Malthiel's. Once the vanguard of his wisdom angels, they followed him down the path to darkness. Okay. Let's go ahead and start on the main quest. Oh my gosh, Yugen! You've heard the legend of the Tomb of Rakus, haven't you? Yes. Its location has never been found. Most scholars think it's underneath Westmarch, but I suspect it's somewhere outside the city. Ruckus was a clever man, after all. Westmarch originally grew from the efforts of the great general Ruckus to spread his religion beyond the realms of the East. Seized by the superstitions of the Zacharum faith, he drove his paladins relentlessly across the barbaric western lands, subduing the uncivilized tribes he found there. Ultimately, he became king of them all. Okay. <laughs> right now, I'm killing everything pretty quickly since uh, I geared myself uh, quite a bit before the expansion started by uh, doing a lot of... What is it? Difficulty runs? Uh, I don't want to call it hell because I know that's not the correct difficulty. Um, let's go down here because there's usually a chest down these caves. Let's be clear. Um, is it immortal? I forgot. But yes, I played on uh, harder difficulties and just started farming gear in anticipation of this expansion. So I can clear it quickly so I can show you guys the game quickly. Um, so I can show you the content as a. Uh, Quick as uh, as possible. At the same time, make sure it doesn't lose the quality of the game. So that's why you can see me just plowing right through this game right now. Okay, so here's our bonus objective. You see, we're doing the last stand right now, which is basically uh, just defend the place and from hordes of enemies and protect these people. I think we're pretty much. Good. Right, good. I love how there's a bunch of you guys and then you barely killing these guys. Come on. Alright, I think we're good now. Uh, let's talk to this gentleman. Captain? Civilians are behind this door. I'm not opening it until the Reapers are all dead. They're all dead. What are you talking about? Oh my gosh, there's one right here. Oh, there's a couple. There, done. Alright, Captain. You can destroy those barrels, you might get items or curses. We've been here for days, these people can't last much longer. Take them to the survivors' enclave, quickly. There we go, you cleared it. 
you get all these good gear with it. You get the event XP and then you can just go ahead and leave. Let's see if there's anything in these barrels. Yep, just traps. Alright. And we go... What's nice is that they, they add a uh, way just to teleport front entrance if, um, if, you, if it's a big cave. But uh, fortunately it was not. Uh, let's continue with the main quest. Oh, treasures. All right, these guys, uh, you have, you want to kill them. You have a certain amount of time to kill them before they teleport out. And they give you good loot if you kill them, but you have a limited time, so you definitely want to down these guys quick. But you have to have good damage as well to take them out. Oh, all right, I think I can do it. Yep, there we go. See, so he drops a bunch of stuff. He can teleport out if you don't, not quick enough, so I was very fortunate there and had good gear to do that. About Diablo, you kind of want to keep a look at your minimap top right to see where you're going. Uh, it's all about exploration, and uh, it's random each time. Uh, the map's always different every time you come back to the game, so you always have to kind of explore to see where you're supposed to go next. And then you can actually pull up your map at the same time while you're going through this. Right here, we've got a chest right over here. All right, there's nothing down. Get there. The way rarity goes is, you know, common white, gray trash, and then you got the little higher, which is the blue you saw right there that I skipped. Then 